I'm part of the 42%. 42%, it's my land. It's my choice. It's, it's our, our future. future. Forty-two percent is the amount of land under conservation management in Namibia. Nowhere else in the world comes close to this degree of protection. But forty-two percent isn't just a number. It represents a courageous choice made by people in a young democracy. In a short time, this choice has created a profound culture of conservation in Namibia. Forty-two percent isn't just changing landscapes, it's changing lives. I'm part of the 42 percent. It means conservation. It means hope for endangered species. 42 percent is about wildlife and wild places. Forty-two percent covers nature in its extremes. Namibia's stunning mosaic of national parks and protected areas covers over 17 percent of the country. Since independence, Namibians have chosen to increase our protected areas network, proclaiming new national parks and protecting the entire coastline of the country. That's over a thousand miles, including Namibia's first and vast marine protected areas. Increasingly, the links between national parks, people and international boundaries are coming together to make sound ecological sense. Kaza, the Kavango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area, is a perfect example of this. Kaza represents the world's largest international conservation area, larger than the state of California. It combines protected areas across five countries. These countries look beyond their national borders, achieving something collectively that they could not have achieved alone, and spreading the culture of conservation across international boundaries. Wildlife including nearly half of the continent's elephants, roam freely across these borders. Throughout Namibia, wildlife populations are thriving. Namibia has the world's largest population of cheetah. We are the only country in the world where the population of free-roaming lions is increasing. And Namibians are passionate about the protection of our rhino. Comparing our wildlife recovery story to the decimation of species in much of the rest of the world, it is both staggering and humbling to realize the global importance of Namibia's conservation efforts. Forty-two percent means space. Sustainability. Endless horizons. It means adventure. From the pursuit of tigers, in the Caprivi, to the coast, where the desert meets the sea, adventure abounds. For adrenaline junkies, adventure can be hard, really hard, like a 100-kilometer race through the Fish River Canyon, the second largest canyon in the world, or a six-day cycle challenge through the Namib Desert. In Namibia, adventure takes you to places where your heart soars, to where you feel connected to the earth and to yourself. Adventure is about more than an individual challenge. In Namibia, adventure tourism has changed a nation. I'm part of the 42%. It means jobs. Training. It means education. It means pride in the choices we've made. The culture of conservation in Namibia isn't new. It's been here for centuries with the San, the Himba, and other indigenous people of Namibia. But today, it is being embraced 
by a larger and more diverse group of people than ever before. Part of the conservation effort is taking place on private land, where fences have come down and game farms have been established, including one of the largest private nature reserves in the world. But it's on communal land, in communal conservancies, where the landscape for conservation and social change has been altered most dramatically. The Namibian Community-Based Conservation Program started at grassroots level in the 1980s. After independence in 1990, policy changes enabled rural communities to make decisions on the use of their resources and benefit from wildlife by forming conservancies. The first four conservancies were registered in 1998. Today, there are over 75 conservancies, covering well over 18% of the country. And one in four rural Namibians is part of the conservancy movement. Conservancies and community-based natural resource management is enabling the growth of a new rural economy, and the tourism industry has played a significant role in its success. Today, there are over 30 joint venture lodges operating in communal conservancies across Namibia. They provide jobs, training, income to conservancy members, and a tangible stake in the future. 42% is the result of visionary choices made by the people of Namibia. 42% represents space for great adventure, space for reflection, and space for great fun. 42% also allows for authentic experiences, experiences that not only enrich the lives of our guests, but the lives of all Namibians. Namibia's culture of conservation has been called one of the most compelling stories in tourism today. This story is one that we are proud to share. Welcome to Namibia, to Africa at its best. of the 42%, 42% and counting. <laughs>